Hi, I'm Hannah. And I'm Sarah. Thank you for stopping to look at our infographic and learn a little bit about European settlement. As you can see, this infographic was centered around our driving question for this project. What did European settlement mean for all the people involved? We came to the conclusion that European settlement resulted in the beginning of trade alliances with First Nations groups. Although there have been changes, such as which materials are being traded, European trading posts and businesses have remained constant over time. We divided our supporting data into three groups we studied, and we want to share with you what European settlement meant for them and the major changes of trade and alliances. The first group we studied at the time of settlement was the British. We found that their relationship with the other groups would affect their trades. The second group of people we studied at the time of settlement was the French. We found that Samuel de Champlain, the founder of New France, lived off knowledge from the Wendat First Nations. The third group of people we studied at the time of settlement was First Nations. We found out that the wampum belt was both a symbol of alliance and agreement, but also tells stories. Overall, there have been changes, such as what we use to symbolize treaties. Back in New France, they used the First Nations wampum belts, and now they use paper documents. An example of continuity is that many alliances still exist and are used today in things such as wars. If you didn't trust us, make sure to check out our sources at the bottom of our infographic. Thanks again for stopping, and we hope you can see the impact that European settlement had on the people involved.